Hey guys, today we're gonna to overhaul YouTube star Tenny Panosian's gorgeous 1927 Tudor style home and transform it into a medieval modern showstopper. I'm so excited to see this place. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, this is an overhaul. This place is amazing. Thank you. This yeah. is gonna be so much fun. A lot of work. <laughs> the plan is to keep the historical heritage of the house while adding some of Tenny's unique personal style and a modern flair. We also wanna give a special thanks to Amazon for sponsoring and collaborating with us on this video. All the home furnishings in this video can be found on amazon.com. Tenny is lovingly restoring this house and keeping its heritage in mind. Tenny is also thinking about the flow, the space, and how she'll entertain. I want to stay true to the authentic character of the house. It's a 1927 Tudor, so it's got a traditional, you know, base. So right. that's kind of what I want to work with, but still weave in my own style and a little bit of modern elements, but still really keeping true to the traditional vibe of the house. We're working hard together to make sure that we capture the function and style that Tenny hopes to have in her gorgeous new home. I love that you didn't just knock it down and build something gigantic. Yeah. Like I love that you're keeping some of these really beautiful elements yeah. like the plaster ceiling uh -huh. and the original fireplace. Yeah. And then you're making the changes around that exactly. that'll make it feel like it's, you know, it is 2017. Tenny really wants to play off the modern medieval theme in her house, but because it's not actually a medieval house with dark paneling, stone, ironwork, we really have to tailor it for a 1920s American Tudor. I'm all about, you know, conversation starters, mm -hmm. you know, seeing something on the wall that just is so unique and like really stands out to you. The best interiors, the best wardrobes, the best stories yeah. are all very personal. Tanny has exceptional taste. She's an absolute pleasure to work with. In this particular project, I'm actually acting as her design assistant, and all I'm really doing is helping her pick the perfect pieces for each room that really reflect her personal style. So my eyes have definitely already gone to certain okay, colors. Go. I really like that purpley yeah. gray tone. Yeah. I don't know why I gravitate to that. You're gravitating towards the deeper tones. Yeah. I wanted to design test you and see, are you feeling lighter things? I thought, I thought I'd, I would go for more light, but just that just really drew my attention. We're gonna nod to Tenny's medieval theme with a muted color palette, wood textures, metals, and unique pieces with gothic details. I love the choices you've made. Like, what a great palette. Let's just make this happen. Let's do it. Okay. Tenny wants the living room to be the most understated room in the house, considering it's the first room guests see when they walk in. Yes, this will be the formal living room. I turned one of the bedrooms into a family room so that that's the casual space, right. the hangout okay. spot. Yep. This is where I entertain. Maybe after like a dinner party, we sit here. Our plan is to focus on a few key elements and build the space around them. One of the main challenges of Tenny's living room is that the entryway and the fireplace are off-center. So we're gonna address this visually by putting together groups of furniture that trick the eye. So specifically, we're gonna build a living room around the fireplace so that we create symmetry that way with a sofa and two chairs that are perfectly aligned and center on the fireplace. Ah, I love this room. It's done. It's done. It's done. Talk about a change. Because the last time we were in here, the really? only thing that was here was the ceiling. We really wanted to riff off of Tenny's modern, medieval, glamorous thing. We came up with a sort of a central color palette. And it's things like deep charcoals or blacks. She has gold accents. We have gold finishes on the coffee table with a mirrored surface. We have side tables that have gold finishes. We have really beautiful textures, so things like velvets and satins. You want to uh, talk about medieval, those yeah. cathedral chairs. I love the cathedral chairs. It looks like it belongs in like a Catholic church. Yeah, it's or, stunning. Or like a university library yes, to me. Yes, exactly. What or the throne room. And they have that architectural feeling, and I love that they flank your yeah. office doors, and it creates a statement, and it's kind and it's of an still, entryway. And it still works. Yeah. It still works with more of the modern elements. Also, we have highlighted it with some of these darker elements that really have kind of a graphic pop. Without it being kind of overwhelming and themey, it's really sophisticated. Talk about a fearless mix. You're talking about mixing something that's kind of glamorous yeah. with like a faux hide, yeah. and then something that has like a Swedish Gustavian moment. I love that. And then you're pulling it all together with your nod to nature. I figured this is sort of the animal room with those, those the stork legs. The stork legs, I love that table. I love that table. Probably my number one favorite piece <laughs> in the whole house. You're really mixing. It's not like you've chosen two styles, you've chosen yeah. <laughs> and then, no, but it works really well together. It's medieval, mid-century, modern. Yeah, yeah mid-century, modern, classic, <laughs> 1920s. You are fearless when it comes to mixing. You know what? I'm getting more bold with that. Yeah. Like
like I feel like I didn't do that before, but now I'm just I'm, I'm seeing it come to life. This just looks like some a place that someone's already been living for years and years. Penny is looking to create a really gorgeous office slash library slash workspace that flows from her living room. So this room, I couldn't really tell what it was, but it seemed like an extension of the formal living room. I had this dream of having a library in my home. Didn't really work out with the space because I would need wall to wall. And also there's so walls. many windows so in many here. Windows. So I figured why not combine a mini library with a little bit of an office space. We're gonna add some of Tenny's signature fashion flair by putting in floor to ceiling olive chartreuse metallic curtains. And we're gonna have a built-in bookcase with really gorgeous deep dark walls. A loungy sitting area in front of the three large windows. The study. The study library office. Visually, just looking at it, it's, it's gorgeous, but just having books behind me, and so yeah. I want to just pick one out, sit right there. Bringing in things like furniture with a darker, more traditional finish, some really amazing smoky brown leathers, and some gold accents in her task lamp and other accessories. Everything yeah. about this to me says, like, lawyer. <laughs> right? Yeah, lady boss. I love it. Again, that was the whole goal with this house is as much as we're keeping it traditional and classic, it's still 2017, right. and it still works. The dining room is actually one of the most glamorous rooms in the house. This, I have to say, is one of my favorite rooms because it does have the sliding doors that opens like dramatic. And so for that reason, I sort of want to keep the drama going and do a darker vibe in here. This house sort of designs itself. And so it's, it's inspiring. Tenny really wants to create this juxtaposition between these kind of very glamorous dining chairs and this wood heavy textured dining table. Look at this dining room. This is beautiful. I mean, of all the rooms, really, this turned out exactly the way I'd envisioned it. Tenny chose a really beautiful sideboard with sophisticated marquetry. She's got a great low-hanging chandelier. It really is representative of that glamour, modern, and medieval that she's going for. I found this scarf that has the Armenian alphabet on it. Oh, how cool. So it's so, meaningful to you, yeah. too. Tenny did something really interesting in the dining room by framing her vintage Hermes scarf over her sideboard. And so this beautiful fuchsia element turned it into a stunning piece of art that we've built the room around. Tenny also really loves her pair of antelope busts, but here's the thing, they are made of resin and no animals were hurt in the making of this video at all. So you can really do this medieval, modern, century. I like it. Century Somebody glamour. get me a shield. I want to hang up a shield on the wall. <laughs> Tenny has some really strong opinions about her bedroom because it's where she does her makeup, so Tenny spends a lot of time in the space. So, the master bedroom. Wow, so what a great room. You've got tons of light. This is a wide room, yeah. so you can do something overscaled in here. She wanted it to feel glamorous and polished, but still have a little bit of that medieval flair. I do want a little bit of drama in here too. Okay. Um, specifically with like the drapes and uh, maybe the headboard. Her bed is gonna go against the back wall and it's actually flanked by two really symmetrical windows, which is kind of exceptional. Master bedroom! I love how it turned <laughs> out. We chose a color palette of mauves and deep purples and silvers to make it tranquil but still glamorous. I really like the soft color palette, save for the, you know, the headboard. Everything is just really, this is a, it's a bedroom. This is where you retire at the end of the day and you just want it to be really just serene, sort of zen. calm. For Tenny's bed, we chose a plum-colored tufted, kind of dramatic, high-backed bed. A little more tufting. It yes. made it upstairs, too. I know, right? <laughs> I think I've changed my ways. Yeah. For her bedside tables, we chose a really beautiful rose gold mirrored table that has that kind of glamour that Tenny's looking for. Tenny wanted to incorporate some kind of texture into her room, so we put this really great and fun faux fur bench at the end of Tenny's bed. Tenny has a lot of great space in her bedroom, and so we were able to create a kind of seating area with two really beautiful velvet chairs. In the dresser, we brought in some of the nickel accents that you can see throughout the house and the sconces and the hardware, and we also gave it that great textured wood feeling. This dresser I is love it. probably my favorite piece in the room. I love it. Because it has that old Hollywood kind of feel to it. This has real Hollywood Regency mm -hmm. references. But I also like it because it's rustic too and mm. it really speaks to your table downstairs. So do you notice a little something on this dresser? What is that? <laughs> this is an echo look. 
This just sits right here and you know, you get dressed in the closet, you're all done, you're ready to go. You want an OOTD, but there's no one around to take it, so very cool. It's gonna stand about five feet away. Alexa, take a picture. Go straight to my phone. It's gonna go to the Echo Look app. How amazing. And that's our latest look. And then if you wanted to, you could just press pop. Oh, uh, look how great your bedroom looks. Out the yeah, it looks amazing. I don't want to blur out the don't background because it, it looks good. It looks amazing. <laughs> We had a lot of fun working on Tenny's house. We started with a space that was stripped back to the studs and we were able to transform it into a modern, medieval, and glamorous home that's really reflective of Tenny's personal style. Now this home really feels like Tenny. It's got the historical references, but the modern updates. It's got excellent flow and it's a place she's gonna be very happy living. And again, we wanna thank Amazon for sponsoring and collaborating with us on this video. Bye.